Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? Uh-oh, my wipers are on. Let me get that turned off. Wonderful. Okay, so we are picking up. <laughs> Sorry about that, Alex. Where we left off, yes, I'm having a late start tonight. I was out with some buddies playing uh, Star Wars Unlimited, the new Star Wars card game that came out. Having a good time with that, but it pushed me back a little bit. So, we're starting now, and we're actually just picking up where we were on stream last time. So, we have our flaming, amazing blue station wagon. And um, I believe that... Let me check out our diagnostics here. We need to fill up the tank. I need to heal myself. But we're actually doing all right. <laughs> exactly, Alex, right? Um, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this tank up. So, um, we need to find a way into the wall, says the quest. But says me and um, others. And by the way, I just want to, you know, say thank you. Uh, to Alex and others who have been giving me so many tips with this game. Honestly, the more I learn about it, the more I like it, and the more I understand it. And it's kind of like, you know, by design, obscure and mysterious. But what I'm going to do is um, grind a little bit and boost up my car and my abilities so that if we decide to go out into the great beyond... Um, we won't be completely vulnerable. Alex, that's a good question. I don't think I did, but maybe I did. We're going to find out. I think I didn't, though. I think it was just during the stream last time. Transmission Fragment. Welcome to Anomalies as a Coherent and Integrated Ecosystem. Um, this In this three-part lecture, I will okay then. That's a cryptic message, but that's par for the course. So let's see, what do we need to do with our vehicle? Uh, let's check it out here. I think it's good. We need to visit the friendly dumpster. We haven't done that yet. Okay, great. We can do that. No, I don't see anything. Um, okay, well... Hey, hey, Nicholas, good evening. Yeah, that's a whimper indeed. So I don't know why the driver's checklist is telling me to visit the friendly dumpster, but okay. Let me see my car before we go out. And here's what's in the trunk. Uh, I have a little bit of gas here. I should probably fill this up before we leave and uh, take all of the parts and such out. Go ahead and just kind of... You know, put them away and see if I have anything in here. This is empty. This is empty. And what's really cool is we installed this auto parker. And I can't wait to see how that shakes out. Uh, let's see. Is this toolbox empty? It is. All right. So I'm going to get out this can. I'm just going to drop it on the ground. So that I think I can just kind of pick this up and fill it up. I think you're probably right, Alex. I probably have too much stuff. Let's take a look at that. I like being overstocked, but at the same time, I can totally see what you mean. All right, so let's put this in here. So we have more repair putty than we need. So let's go ahead and take a repair putty out. And then, um, can I stack these? You can't, um, stack mechanics kits. I don't think I need two of those. And then, I'm okay with, I have this extra, it's not an extra liberator, it's just a regular liberator, which I think I want. Uh, this is more of a backup, this Relightable Flare here.
There we go. Okay, I think this is better. <laughs> Max, good evening. Good idea. Make life easier. Let me go put this stuff away. You know what? I haven't played um, Wang's Tales from the Internet. So if you do play that, Max, let me know how it is. Oh my god. My locker is uh, getting kind of full here. All right, This some, uh, spare tire we definitely do not need. So I'm going to put it on the ground. I'm going to put this over here. Put this over here. Great. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and pick this up and just scrap this. Use the auto vac. I'll hold the transfer trunk and not much in here, but I should be able to put it in here. I did. Drop that. All right, now um, Alex is pointing out rightly that we should rearrange our backpack a little bit so we can kind of just uh, move this to here and then move this to here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, doing stuff for the lulls feels like the right decision. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm ready, everybody. I am ready to go. So now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to look at the route. Hey, T, good evening. Good to see you. You know, when I look at this, I say to myself, where do we want to go? Well, I do love Tetris, but I am not a master at all. Um, Fogwood. There you go, Max. This is extremely unstable, so I bet you can get the resource that you need that's like the unstable resource, but I probably don't care about that too much right now. I might want to just get some simple stuff. Now, this is kind of where they want me to go, but I'm going to go ahead and just, like I haven't been here. This is a nice short route that we can take. Heavy fog. Um, broken bunnies. We need to do some more scanning. Not that many houses. Maybe we can get some chemicals. Okay. This one right here makes sense. Let's just go here for now and map it out. I love the idea. Um, I don't think I need to charge my battery, but I'm going to do it anyway. A lot of my tools are in really, really bad shape. Let me make sure. Can I make a pry bar? And can I make... I got an extra one now. Do I want to make an extra... Flare gun? Here's what I'm going to do, because I'm feeling lazy. I'm just going to um, equip this and then just break it. And then just break this. And I thought I made a spare flare gun. I think I must have not. There we go. Okay. And it looks like my scrapper is breaking, but at the same time, I can make those in the field. Car for the flare. Oh, right. Thank you. All right. Let's go, people. Let's go. I could stay in this garage forever, right? You know, for some reason, it doesn't... 
keep um I guess I must push Y or something, but it keeps my other settings. You know what I mean? It keeps my uh, night settings like brighter nights and everything like that. All right, let's go, people. We are a driving. I did put it in park. That was pretty sweet. That's a little driving 101 for you. Masterpiece. All right. So we're going here. Lock it in. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but if I go out to this route and I get the anchors and like I'm like, all right, let's go to the next one, I can't really just go to another node unless I program that in in advance, right? I can't like on the fly because the exits will be closed. I can't just on the fly decide to go someplace else, correct? Ooh, the heavy fog is no joke. All right, let's look at the map. So we're here. We'll pick up this and then it looks like we have to go around and then get all this stuff and then try to come back. Oh, I'm discovering them. Okay. Hey, too much carbs. Good evening. Good to see you. All right. So, uh, there's a trunk. So I leave my lights on so I can see... Oh, it's locked, huh? We're going to use the right tool for this job. Ooh, look at this mother load. That's one of the better trunks I've seen in 50 years of trunk work. Douglas Fur, your knowledge with Zap Douglas. Oh, boy. All right, I'll take all that. I don't really feel like I want to grind out these parts, but I may as well. I'll thank myself later, maybe. Oh, okay. Good point. Take that. It's like I'm playing Slime Rancher. Just a little bit. All right, so the... Actually, it's right over here. Let me turn off my headlights then, save my battery, and just just proceed on foot. There's a house, and then there's a, a stability anchor. Uh, this house looks quite seriously locked. You know what? I'm going to try... I had turned this setting off. I experimented with it, but I actually like it. So this is high visibility loot, and somebody gave me the tip about this. Um, oh, that's really cool. I did not know that, Alex. Thank you for sharing that tip. So this is high visibility loot, and you can see how it's very easy to see where the loot is. But what's cool about this is, and this is helps my brain, um, once you search it, it turns off. 
So it's just a great way to know like where you've been. So I'm going to start playing with this on. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of it because um, it lets you see through walls, which I'm not like 100% happy about the ability to do that. But it's a supernatural game. And the way I was thinking about it is, you know, you get this heads up display anyway. So why not have some slight x-ray vision? Yeah, I agree. I agree. It is a little bright. Feed it. Alright, so now, um, how much more do we need? Actually, we have enough. So, we're not going to open the gate yet because there's so much that's down here to loot. I'm just going to set my marker here. Or here, look at this. And, you know, just kind of put a waypoint. And uh, turn it on. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's drive the right way. All right, there's some more cars here, but I'm not going to ignore them for the moment. Right, right. Good point. Let's go ahead and do the looting first, and then open the last one. Now, this is another thing I really love about the fact that we have these off-road tires. I can just much more reliably do this. All right, these are some bunnies. So the these are broken bunnies, right? And so um, these guys are bad ones. Oh boy. Dust. Do you know what? You can just pick them up? Oh, okay. You don't have to break them apart. So, I'm really smart. Do you know why I keep messing up and putting the car into um, park and drive? Because I forgot that I have the automatic seat detector that does it for me. I'm not used to such luxuries. It's in drive because I sat down. I don't have to mess with it anymore. It's a godsend. Oh, pick them up and then toss them down so I don't destroy my car. That's a good point. Should probably do that. All right. I may have not been my best plan to just drive through the forest. But it's cool. I feel cool doing this. I found some pipes. It's definitely good on the old car. Oh, one of my tires actually got some problems doing this. I'm going to have to fix it. Oh, there's an achievement? Well, now I feel way better. Is, is it flat? Okay. Well, let's see if I have a sealant. Oh my god, I hit a tree. I'm going to fix it when I get there. Oh, that was a big tree. That was dumb. A thousand? Fix it now. Oh, all right. Uh, I need to make a sealant kit.
Damn. Yeah, I scanned it. Just needed to seal it. Oh, I see. So if it, if it's flat and you keep driving on it, then you blow it out and you have to totally replace it. And you can't use the sealant kit is what you're telling me? Okay, now that I didn't know. Now that's, that's some good driving 101 right there from Alex. All right, perfect. All right, we're going to just try to curl over this way and just have a good time driving through the forest. Turn those wipers off. Don't need them. Unless they help whisk away tree bark. All right, we actually made it to, well, where we wanted to go. Oh, a treasure chest, too. Awesome. All right. I'm going to park it. Well, actually, I don't need to park it. I'm just going to get out. All right, we got a trash bag here. Ooh, a dumpster pearl. Now, that's quite desirable. A little bit there. Okay. All right, that'll do. Have you really only found one? Boy, I keep finding a bunch of them. All right, nice little shack you got here. That's a radio. So I'll tell you what. Somebody was telling me this in the, in the YouTube comments. Um, first of all, Scrapper. I need to make a scrapper. My scrapper is broken. That I've kind of been skipping radios, you know, because I'm like, well, I don't really need them that much. But it turns out that you later, people are telling me that I'm going to need a lot of electric, uh, electric parts. So I will be smarter about it. No, I didn't want you to drop that. Oh, inventory full. Okay. Let's put away this dumpster then. The dumpster pearl. Let's dump our stuff away. That's why I couldn't just hold it. Okay, now this thing, um, it goes right here. Good. Flares go over there. Um, this guy can go in here. You sure were, Alex. Hey, Devin, good evening, my friend. You know what, Devin? I think this game is fantastic. The more I play it and understand it, the more I enjoy it. Ooh, we got a bunch of good stuff here. We got some paint. I love those treasure boxes. And we'll put all this back. We'll put some paint away. All right, and I'm going to put this down here. Wonderful. Yeah, I just have to pay more attention, and then things go well for me. Yeah, we'll just kind of break this open. This one is a scrapper. Oop, I need to equip my scrapper. Alright, we're getting some wire and the like. Wonderful. Alright, now I'm destroying my battery by leaving the lights on, but I really like it because it helps me uh, see better, see my car better. I'm just a fan. This house has some uh, ambient radiation, it appears. We're going to try and get in and get out, as it were. Alright, bunch of food. Maybe we can use this to heal ourselves after we just take a bunch of damage from radiation. This is a lot of radiation. That was no joke. Alright. That is an impressive structure over there. 
Okay, so... I don't know if I really want to scrap that entire car, and oh my god, my headlights. Now those are some headlights. Oh, really? Too much carbs? Now we're talking. That's what I need. Floodlights. Isn't that a cool achievement, Devin? I think that's a great observation. It is both. Because the game is super spooky, but what I like about it as a player is that there's no... It's not like there's a zombie that's going to jump out. You don't really have to worry about that. It's just the environment and the anomalies. All right, let's check where we are on the map. Okay, um, well, we went to the house that was right across the way, so let's just kind of, like, focus on maybe moving up this way a little bit. Ooh, there's a bunch of loot down here I didn't even see. I haven't messed around with uh, these silos very much, but now I know... Not just shopping carts, there's loot abound. Alright, so there's a backpack. Get some cloth. And a little bit of here. Okay. Uh, Alright, looks good. I'm just sticking stuff in all of my different boxes. Horribly unorganized. I love it disorganized. I don't know if you can climb up that ladder. It doesn't really look like it. You can see there's a tower over here. Alright, let me look around. And this is where I'm at on the map. We need to go forward for the tower. Here it is. I'm going to need to hit my battery. Mr. Sheeple, good evening. You know what? You're right. The tourists are almost like zombies, and they do give you that jump scare. But they're stationary, at least. Ooh, uh, vacuum cleaner. Now it's not a good vacuum cleaner, but it's a vacuum cleaner. We're going to eat. We're going to eat. I'll do it for our health. And we're going to break this. Hit me with the plasma. Okay, so we're going to get a couple plasmas. A little glass shard. Wonderful. I like to turn on the lights. So my crude flashlight is really low. And I'm wondering... I don't think I can... Oh, no, no, no. That would have been terrible, Devin. I don't know if I can use a light bulb replacement kit on my flashlight or not. I'm going to try to find out. Probably not, but it would be cool. Chemicals. All right. Now that's a lot of good stuff in there. All right, let's see what you offering me. This says um, pressurized for plastic, and that's a rate of two to five. Is that what that means? I, I haven't really figured out quite how to interpret this. So, like, two pressurized canisters give five plastic? Oh, it's a consumable? open it. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it does say pressurized cartridges to plastic. Okay. I don't... I think you can fix a headlight with it, Mr. Sheeple, but I'm not sure about that. I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to pretend like this will work.
Um, so this says... How many breachers does it take to fix a light bulb? Well, we'll find out. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to drop this. And then I'm going to use this... I'm just going to pretend like this will work. Okay, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to uh, equip it. And then I'm going to like... Nah, that's a no. Okay. That was in my dream that that would work. I don't believe that I've completely unlocked the uh, recipe for this yet. So I'm going to have to be using a disposable flare light in a moment. And that's okay. We're going to be getting out of this zone momentarily anyway. Uh, because we're going to head up here. Take this. And then we're going to have to come right back for this gate. But... I want to loot it up before we do that. Once it's dead. I'll need unstable juice to unlock it. I thought I had enough. I'm over the line. Oh, you mean... The... I know, it is almost RIP to dream. It's sad. Oh, oh, for crude flashlight, you mean on the tech tree? Okay, thank you. Well, then, I want to go to a... Just to try it out, to go to an unstable site and see if I can get the good stuff. Man, that's a lot of sweet items right there. Love it. It would be kind of fun to take a a saw to a like an old CRT computer. Oh, I was like I hear something terrible. I do. I don't think I distracted that guy. Maybe I did. He grabbed the car, but hopefully it, it didn't do any more damage than it could have. Oh, no, I need this. Oh, wait, there's a plasma thing. I gotta turn off the lights. It would not... The abductor wouldn't have seen me. Um, oh, this is already broken. Okay. Uh, but there is a treasure chest and another van chemical van potentially over here all right we got a lab report and we got a light bulb i will take it arda lied oh arda why'd you lie Oh, oh, okay, there's a flare in there. I left the flare behind. Oh, man, you saw it break. You saw it just break. Oh, that's, that's a crusher. All right, well, well, we'll switch to our other light device in a moment. I'll hope it... Yeah, I bet it did do some damage. Ooh, there's stuff over here, too. Cool. Let me just clean everything out that I can. A little radiation. That never hurt anybody, right? Oh, my God. All right, this house is locked up. And I don't see much else. Ooh, yes, I do. Okay, the siren. We gotta go. There's the stability anchor over there. No, no, that's the treasure chest. Um, my car is over here. Actually, wait. 
What is that? Uh-oh. We gotta get back to the car, people. All right, hit me, map. Where's the storm? Okay. We're going to go um, here. I'm going to get this. Oh, man, the abductor's back. Turn off the lights. They still pick me up. I turned off the lights. Bottom left. Okay. So you're saying I should just open the gate and go? Or just get the anchor and go? <laughs> All right, fine, fine, fine. Uh oh, now I'm too close. All right, I gotta turn around. I'm watching the map. There it goes. All right, here we go, people. One. Open it. Yeah, good point. Let's go. It's a race. Oh, my God. That's a tree. Not even a small one. Turn on the lights. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. What's a few trees between friends? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean to get this. Well, that's a lot of plasma. Go. Oh, okay, cool, Alex. Thank you for that tip. Wonk. We made it. We're through. Okay, so... We arrived. Back. Yeah, we got 1.2 stable. Have a nice field trip? I did. Thank you. I know, T. It was, uh... It's a doozy out there. Turn off the lights, pull it up, turn it off. All right. Let's go see how we did. Let's fix us. Let's uh, fill up the tank. Okay. And we're going to get our trunk. Oh, we got a fax. Sometimes I think it's just safe to assume things are going through. It may not be the same thing to think, but it definitely helps me sleep at... No oh, my God. That's upsetting. All right, pick it up. We're going to pick up the transfer trunk. It really is, T. It really is. They do a good job of making that uh, a harrowing experience. All right, put everything over there. I also want to get this over there and this... Looks good. A 
A good point. Thank you, Alex. Yep. And we got the trunk. The friendly dumpster. Alright. So we're going to just go ahead and put away everything we can. Not, not, not that button. This button. There you go. No, give me the pearl, though. Good. All right, let's uh, put the fax machine in here. We got a fax. Lab reports. And let's see. I got some paint that I'll put on the old paint shelf. I'm going to set this down, open it, and pick this up, and throw it in. Let's see if we get anything cool. Oh, we got a lot of lead, plasma. Whoa, whoa. All right, um, that's a ton of stuff. You got to love it. All right, we're going to vacuum it. I should have probably done the dumpster first, but let's see. Inventory full, huh? Oh, yeah. Inventory definitely full. Okay. I might have to get rid of some of these parts. And let's just use the old dumpster again. And use dumpster again. Whimper. Alright. And we'll use the vacuum again. There it goes. Pick this up. Open this. Alright, cool. Uh-huh. Put over everything I can. Whoa. Yep, I'm out. I'm out of stuff. Siloom, good evening. So I'll take these big parts out and just kind of put in the rest. We're going to put in the, this decal uh, that we got here and this paint color like so. And I'm going to just dump this here for a moment because I need to look at my car and see how the panels are. Like, this panel needs taken off and probably replaced over here. How are you doing? So, this panel... Um, we're going to uh, just drop it and then put this one in. Oh, you can? That's cool. I kind of need that at this point. Put this on. That's looking good. Although, I didn't know I put flames on the back. I think that was an old panel that I repaired that had flames on it, and that's fine. Um, you know, I took some damage, but it's not horrible. The headlights I'm going to have to fix... Let's see, where's the worst damage? I don't think I need to fix too much. I definitely need to recharge my battery. Uh-huh. All right, switched it up. We're going to put this over here. Okay. So that looks good. 
I'm happy with uh, the car. It's pretty reasonable. I can check this. 86%. I'd say that's, you know, close. I'm going to repair uh, using this repair putty my headlights. Crispy, good evening. I know, isn't that funny that they have to advertise that for baking soda and stuff? It's like, well, shouldn't it not ever contain that? And they're like, well, technically. I'm just going to use this last putty here. Okay. Now it's time to do a little research. So, we were talking about this, and I can get um, the advanced workbench I can't get. The expanded locker um, would be good. I'm kind of coming up against it, so there's that. Like, I might want the expanded locker. I also, though, might want... Uh, A crude flashlight, but it takes unstable energy. So I could go see what that's like to gather. Side lights, we've decided they're not that important. Um, right, and then I can unlock part storage. Correct. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I'm really, really interested in doing. I did think about, um, you know, eh, the side fuel tank just explodes. This does look cool, the lightning rod. But I think it, it needs to go on a side mount. <laughs> um, I mean, that's funny. Jumping jacks, resource, radar, that's cool. And the engine, right. Okay, I think you're right. Yeah, stuff like that will drive you crazy, Crispy. It's... Let me go to the garage and get the expanded locker. Now we're talking. Where do I put this thing at? Uh, over here? Oh, wait. You, you mean I could... There are several places I could build this. This one's the closest. Chef Smitty, Heathrun. Good evening, my friends. Good to see you. Oh, okay, thank you, Alex. It only works in a storm. All right, well then, kind of goes down in value pretty precipitously, if that's the case. All right, and then let me look over here. Lead apron. Um, I'm not wearing anything, so this would be an improvement. I could wear the padded parka, but I don't really get hit. I'd rather have the lead apron. I'm just going to make that. Can I wear it? Am I wearing it? How do I even know what I'm... Okay, cool, Alex. So, like, the plasma towers? Um, let me look at myself. Where's me? I mean, that's a fair point. Crispy. Uh, I got a bigger backpack, but am I wearing... The lead apron. Do you just... I don't know if there's an easy way to see that. Oh, the outfit station tells you what you have equipped? Okay. 
Maybe I haven't crafted it yet? You auto wear the upgrade, says Mr. Sheeple. Thank you. I was wondering, can you stack them? Can you wear, like, lead apron plus padded parka, or is it just one or the other? Okay. I have one. And you can stack them? Okay, let me go see if I can interpret that a little bit better. All of this is good. I don't think I need to make anything, although... Uh, I do have quirks, I guess. Let me see this. Diagnostics required. Um, below the tier one. Oh, okay. Thank you. I don't even know what I would guess. I haven't noticed anything when I was in the field. Oh, I see. I have one backpack mod. It says tier one. And then for lead apron, it looks like it also... It says I'm wearing it. Wearing it. Under material source. Let's just see what happens if I craft this. Okay, so I'm wearing the padded parka. But I'm also wearing it. Okay, you can stack them. Or at least the ones in different categories. So, I have a padded parka. I can make a personal airbag. Is the best protection against any harm. But I don't really ever take that much damage. But I'll take this. So, we've upgraded ourselves a little bit. The, the large backpack requires swamp coral. Which, I don't have that. Alright. Let me check what's in my car really fast. I think I'm good. I might want to make one sealant kit. Just to have it. Alright. Oh no, I already had a sealant kit. I just didn't see it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to look on the map. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm checking it out. So there's an um, an unstable node, like, right next to me. I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe, does extreme conditions mean it has an, an unstability on it that I can get? Because it just says stable anchor. It doesn't say anything else. I'm trying to go... S do I have to, like, go further into the zone to get that? And this is just bad conditions and there's no reason to go here? It says it's intense radiation and it's the Warrens. And it has a swift storm, so it's going to act on me quickly. Okay, so this doesn't have unstable, even though it's orange. It okay, thank you so much. Let's go here, then. Okay, so it, do, it is stable despite the conditions. Thank you, Mr. Sheeple. Thank you. All right. So let's go this way, then, and make it happen. I need mid-zone. Okay, great. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for your advice. We're going to go, then. Did I do everything? It looks pretty good. Deep zone, not ready for it. Here we go.
All right, so I am. I want to get to this node that I've never been here. And this right here, we went before. I could go through this way. I could go E5 or I could go E6 to try to get there. This one is malfunctioning mess. And this one just has heavy fog. That's where we just were, I believe. Um, this looks a little easier. Fading! Procrastinator, good evening, good to see you. Just driving around, you know, in a horrifyingly dangerous alternate Pacific Northwest. Just another day in my station wagon. Alright, um, we are here. We're going to go here. We're going to grab... We're going to just follow the road, and we're going to grab the stuff, and we're going to leave. Yeah, it's a little foggy, but, you know, <laughs> so is my mind. We're fine. Hey, there's a hauling truck. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this. And there's a whole bunch of electricity. This looks great. It has a big door and a bunch of paint. And decals and cosmetic stuff. I'll take this stuff. That's fine. Got an achievement for discovering logbook entries. I want my first aid kit back on me. You know what? I'm going to set one more thing. I've been really messing with... Uh, the gameplay and the accessibility do 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 where is it no not here this is all fine vision weather convenience no it's in gameplay um yep i'm gonna pause when in game menus uh i like this in subnautica as well Yes, Procrastinator. I mean, I'll come back at 1.0, but right now it feels kind of stalled out. Oh my gosh, Mr. Sheeple. I did not know that. That's such a pro tip. Thank you. Did you hear that, Alex? You can scrap paint to get chemicals. So all the extra car paint that you have, you can turn into chemicals. Chemicals are such a bottleneck in this game. That's an amazing little piece of advice. So, I did pause in menus because I like it in Subnautica too. I'm a person who I like to really read the description and just look around in my inventory. Um, and I don't want to be, you know, having bad things happen while I'm doing that. I like to be able to take my time. I know it's not really, um, like, immersion friendly, but that's just kind of how I roll. All right. Uh, there's some cars here. Oop, there's a house. Okay. Couple of flares. Great. Hot dust. That doesn't sound good. Oh, it's just a nice little house. Let's see what my lead apron does in this situation. Probably not a lot, but I'm guessing that the lead apron is, like, mitigating this somewhat. I can't wait to use those 9-volt batteries. Yeah, the hot dust is an anomaly fading. You are 100% right about that. And then there's a bunch of radiation. It does kind of sound like that, right? You tell people, oh, there might be some hot dust in the area tonight. And by hot dust, I mean life-stealing radiation. Okay, so we're going to go over here. You can see there's a little dresser out here. This is a cloth 
dream boat. Uh, actually, I'm going to eat this. Oop, I didn't mean to zoom in, but that's cool. I forgot you could do that. I'm going to eat this food right out of the container. It's eight, per, uh, eight point heal. It'll take us up almost to full there. All right. That is kind of like paprika, isn't it? Let me ask a paprika question for you. For all you chefs out there, paprika users out there. Is paprika for you more about the color or more about the taste? So... I have heard about Unicorn Overload, uh, Overlord, yes. I think Heathrun told me about it, and then I've been seeing stuff about it. It looks really interesting. Is it available to play right now, or is it coming out soon? Mr. Sheeple, 100%, right? On Deviled Eggs, it just makes them pop. I, you know, that's what kind of where I'm at. Like, it it doesn't have much of a flavor, but it, boy, does it have a great vibrant color. That's a good point, too, Fading. So, like, if I actually got not the cheapest available paprika from the grocery, then I might have a different experience. <laughs> Ah. Good stuff. Oh, there's a... There's a scary tourist over there. All right, I need to craft uh, a... I'm, I don't have an impact hammer. Oh, oh, what am I out of? Gears? And a... Oh, I need a gas cylinder. That's right. I, w I was going to say, I don't didn't get any stuffed onions. No, I was sick. That was awful. I was sick for several days. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I have this item. I think I brought it. All right, first of all, it was awful. It was so annoying. Being sick anymore is just like, just a major inconvenience. There they go. Alright, where's my stuff? I mean, I see a flare. That's kind of nice, but you guys promised... Oh my god, he's too close. Yeah, that's a good question. It's already out? Okay, I didn't know that. That's a part. Not a good part, but it's a part. This is the good part. Thermosa. All right. Let me go talk to my car and see if I got the good stuff. Oh, look at that. That thermosap flew all the way over here. Amazing. All right. Put it in there. Now, what I want to craft is uh, an ele electrician's kit. But I have one, don't I? Oh, I didn't bring it. Darn. What am I missing? Copper wire. Oh, that's easy. We just find some electrical part. No problem. Has anybody tried Unicorn Overlord yet? Man, I'm out of everything. Yeah, that's a great... I have I have it on me, Mr. Sheeple. But yeah, the next time I find um, an Arda thing, I will uh, take off those armored parts. You're right. That's a good point. 
Hey, Procrastinator, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I appreciate that. I don't know what it is. It seems like a JRPG, but, like, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, this thing might have armored panels. You're right, this dump truck. Good point. I don't have an impact hammer to get that stuff. All right, so let's see here. This is uh, not an armored panel. This is a uh, recommended tool scrapper. Looks like Fire Emblem. See, that sounds fun. I love Fire Emblem. Uh, this is a steel door. Okay, so I need better stuff from better wrecks. All right, I can't really open this stuff right now, but we'll move on. All right, can I craft? Now this is all right. Go ahead, close that up. I hear uh, that's awesome, Procrafting there. I definitely want to play that. I'm foolishly thinking about trying to actually play through... Uh, the previous Final Fantasy VII reboot, I own it, I started it, and I bounced off of it, even though it was awesome. Um, and I'm thinking about trying it again before I before I play Rebirth. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, but I like to do that. No. It's getting creepy over here. Yeah, I was having a good time with Remake as well. And... Craft, good evening. So, wait a minute. Rebirth isn't a new... An extension of Remake? It's just a... Like, director's cut of Remake or something? Or is it a separate game? I thought it was, like, more of, uh... No, no. Put it in park. Okay. That is expensive. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Well, what's interesting is... Oh, I don't have the right tool. Not having an impact hammer is unreal. So, I got Final Fantasy Remake, I think, on... Not on my PS5. And then they released a PS5, like, upgraded version that I want to play. I think... Maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, there's that too, right, Fading? Uh Get in there! We're looking for gas cylinder so I can make an impact hammer. I... That's... This is gonna be... It's a great lesson for me. I just didn't bring a spare impact hammer. I didn't check how close mine was to breaking. And here's where I'm at. So this is, again, gas cylinder for... Plastic. Now... You can't go the other way around, can you? Or pressurize cartridges into plastic. You can't be like, take a bunch of plastic, give me the stuff. The arrows don't seem to indicate that that would be even close to possible. I'm just dreaming. It's a very economical choice. 
I totally understand. Alright, the, uh... The anchor's in front of me. Hey, a free jump. I'll take it. What's hard for me about the Final Fantasy stuff for the new one, or for these, you know, remake, rebirth, all that stuff, is, oh boy, it's getting spicy now, is just that, like, I don't want Eris to die. And that's, like, gonna happen no matter what I do. And it feels bad. Like, even when, um... I was younger, there was, like, a rumor that you could save her, you know, for the original Final Fantasy VII, and I was like, I think I believed that foul rumor and even tried to do it. I, hey, Guy, good evening, my friend. I don't remember that, but um, that sounds fun. Oh, my God. It's so creepy when those tourists just appear. It's also terrifying when you use the thing to change your seat to into park and drive, and then you get in and it just switches to drive, and you start rolling. Uh-oh. I do not, Guy. I am sorry, my friend. I'm actually... I've been doing YouTube on this end for about three years. But if anybody else has any information on that and would be able to help out, Guy, that would be awesome. I don't, though, personally. Achievement for kicking a tourist? Um, I mean, I could see that happening, but they obviously blow up. So I'd have to just not care about my life, I guess. Yeah, procrastinator, you can't do anything to save her. It's so sad, it is. It's like, it just makes Sephiroth like, there is no... redeeming qualities after he kills... her. It's just like, nah, man. She was the best thing to happen to those slums, and you took her from us. It's a little foggy, just a bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna check something. Give me one moment. The storm is heading my way. That's not good. I can't make a flare gun because um, I don't have a tier 2 thing. So what would you guys do? Can you, like... How can you hit these things from far away if you don't have a flare gun? Just throw a flare? Oh, okay. I'll try that. Oh, 
Oh my god, there they go. Well, this is a lot of the good stuff right here. Well, actually, it's not as good as it could have been, but... We're getting some stuff. There's a thermosap. I'll take it. That was fun. Close it up. Let's go. It's getting absolutely too intense. <gasps> hey, procrastinator, sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> exactly, Devin. I thought you were just joking with the sawing thing. No, they don't like that if you do that. Caution, you don't say. It's the hot dust again. Let me through, please. Extreme conditions. That's not what we want. We want to go this way. We want completely safe and reasonable conditions. Can, can you get that for us? Clear skies, rainbow, perhaps some butterflies. All right. So, um, there's a recording down here. Meh. There's a giant anchor right here, which is definitely calling my name. We have to get above the red line to open the gate. It really would, Procrastinator. Hey, Robert. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. So, Alex, what were you saying that this floating ball is on the left? Does that mean, like, a storm's coming? Or that you're a great person? I know what the, the line on the right is. Zone stability. Oh, okay, so floating in the middle means g just fine? This place looks scary. Bouncing is unstable. Oh, okay, that's terrible. That's terrible news you've given me. Alright. I should probably park and repair my vehicle. There's a bunch of lead over there. There's an abductor and a anchor. Okay, sure. All right, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna hit it. Car's got a little bit of electric damage. Anything that's under 50%, I'm just going to try to juice it up, give it a little help. It's electrified. We need a lot of duct tape. Like, all of it. Okay. How's my health doing? My health is okay. I could eat one food and be fine. 
<laughs> it is a goofy animation. Like, using the... Scraper to put it on there. Putting on the old shellac. Alright, where am I now? Open it up. Hit me. <laughs> it is a good animation. It's so funny, it's like... The whole pr principle of this game, where, you know, they're like, alright, we built these things called stability anchors. They keep the place from falling apart to the absolutely insane anomalies that are out there. Now, what you're going to do is pick those things up and put them inside your car, and it's going to destabilize the area. Wait, what? Shouldn't I leave those there? No, 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 it's a key crafting component. You're really going to need a lot of this stuff. What does it mean if it has a star on it? The... I got a headlight that has a star. Best in show? Unique foil? Oh, here's the wood paneling. Now we're talking. Yes. All right. Um, I probably don't need to be carrying two pry bars. That's kind of a mistake. Oh, good idea. Check the logbook. Let's look at the logbook. It's paused. The menu is paused. Um... Statuses. Peculiar. Ooh, shiny. Looks like the zone has smiled on you. This part will last you only as long as it holds together. Um, so it just means that you can't repair it, I guess? But maybe it's better than normal or something? I don't know. I just filled in the last part because I want that to be true. Uh, did a whole bunch of tires just fall down? out of the sky that that's unsettling I'm just gonna drive away from these tires hey Bryson good evening my friend all right here's what we're gonna do Open it up and steal it. Yeah, this is safe. Oh, oh my god. Lightning. Now come. No. There doesn't need to be this much of it. We could do way less lightning. Hi, Stability Arc. How are you? Hi, Anchor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It seems like that. It's all that remains indeed. Alright, we're closing it up. Yep, yep. Um, this is... Oh, it's a happy hair. I think that's the one that uh, Alex was saying heals you, actually. Okay, so let's look at the map. Yep, and we're going to open a gate, I don't know, back there hit me and turn it on let's go uh, turn it on go I don't know if I can make it up this grade but I'm gonna try that is what I'm hoping too much carbs is that it does last longer oh my god windmill demon windmill uh oh Farmer's fence. We busted it. Farmer John is going to be so unhappy. I broke right through your fence, Farmer. There's a piece of debris. Uh-oh. 
Oh yeah, this is totally safe. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh no! Oh, the trees! Okay. Oh my god, don't tell the Lorax. Alright, we're going for it. Uh oh, it's getting wild out there. We got some really upsetting skies. Oh, I know. Devin, me too. I was so bad in... In all games, I'm bad at driving, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's getting... Yep, we made it. That was intense, but we did it. The important thing is... We didn't die. We got 5.7 stability juice right there. That's actually a... A lot. And I'm gonna take it. Yeah, we found some useful stuff. You best believe it. Alright, patch up. Patched. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Sheeple, not bad, right? It's a, it's a good run. And now that I know that you can turn paint into chemicals, I'm feeling better. I had to actually come back after that run because um, I didn't have the impact hammer. And it was just so brutal to not have um, the impact hammer, some of the tools that I want. So we're gonna we're gonna get there. I tell you one thing I would like to buy is a, a one touch button of you know you're holding the transfer trunk and you just go up to the storage container and then it just puts everything inside your trunk like without having to open it but you know not the end of the world all right i got a separate locker over here we're gonna put the good stuff in there i'm gonna put this in there and that in there and we'll go over here to our paint shelf and put this 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 and this in there Marvelous. And then, let me see. So we're empty on everything now? Did I have anything left in this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My impact hammer was here. I must have accidentally put it in this side storage. I didn't mean to do that, and I did it, and now I feel really bad. All right. I'm going to... This says consumes... Let's see if we can see a difference between this headlight and the headlights that we have. Oh, okay, Mr. Sheeple. Thank you for the tip. It's still okay because, like, I have so much pain. All right, and then let's check the old locker. And by locker, I mean friendly dumpster. That is a, a flower power decal. The dumpster's like, you need nothing. I need everything. There you go. Let's go. Alright. So we're going to vacuum it up. Then we're going to take everything. Oop. That repair putty is always good. We got a fax. Transmission fragment. Hey, Bill, you notice how chocolate tastes different lately? I mean, different to back home, like, kind of slimy? Yes. Yes, Bill did notice that. All right, what do I got in this thing? And I guess this repair putty can go away as the repair kit can. All of that food. Tremendous. Okay. 
Yeah, slimy chocolate. Delightful. Alright. Put that in there. Great. Okay. So, let's see about crafting... Let me get out this repair hammer. Impact hammer. And then, let me see this headlight. Like, this headlight's about to die. So I'll take it out. And then I'm going to look at the headlight I've got. So this headlight that has the star is 70 health, 0 0.015 consumption. The headlight that I'm holding, you're right. The star means more health, but maybe you can't fix it. But we'll put it in there. There it goes. Okay. Um, this headlight needs to get repaired, so... I don't know if I can put it in the... Little locker guy here, but probably. Yeah, I bet you I can. Okay. So, let me look at my car. Actually, I should just take all this stuff out. Regardless. And then I can make room for it because I have the expanded locker. I could build the car part locker, actually. I want to um, take a moment, though, and look into um, the armored car door. No, I can't make it. I could make, like, a lead panel, an insulated panel... A lead-plated door, an insulated door. I need steel sheets for this. I know, Devin. I'm with you. Um, steel sheets we can make. Let me check on this. Okay. And then now I should be able to research the expanded locker. Here it goes. All right, so I can put another locker around. And I will. Looks like it could go over here, for example. Now, if we put it here, this can be where we put, like, the completely fixed up car parts while we're retuning our wagon. Alright, so this panel is in bad shape. So I'm going to pick up a panel. And we can just replace it. And then... Put this one... In there. And then... I assume we need a new door. Yeah, this, this is a new door that we need, so we will just... Swap it. Put it in there. Um, this is another door... All right, sure. And here's a panel. That panel is not completely broken. This one is not great. And bumper. How are we looking on bumpers? How's this bumper? It's okay. There. Alright, so now what I want to do is check this. Um, the, we need to fill the tank. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Fill. 
filling her up. Alright. So how's the rest of the car? Um, this panel is good. That door is eh. I think the car is alright. I'm not too concerned. The tires... Nah. These off-road tires are great. They're... They really, really are champs. Alright, so let's go here. We know we need to craft, for example, uh, another impact hammer. I want a flare gun. Good. Um, I also want the electrician kit. Let's see if these can stack. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, in there. Yep, they do stack. Wonderful. And I have a spare hammer that I will put over there. Isn't it awesome, Devin? Yeah, they look great. My pry bar is breaking, but I think I made a separate pry bar. And I can make a pry bar pretty easily just from my inventory, so that's not really too much of a concern. Okay, so now let me look at... Is there anything over here that I want to make or research? The grounded sweater is what I'm wearing. Um, I need tree candy. I need marsh eggs. I need carbon fiber glass, which I can't craft yet. Now just go to available. And... I'm going to look at the lightning rod again. I'm really going to think about it this time. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it to your battery. Hmm. Alright, fine. Now, I need another side panel, which... Um, not sure where I'm at with that. I need steel sheets. This is easy. Steel sheets are easy. Great. And we're going to go side rack. Here it is. All right. And, uh... Let's see. I guess you can't put it... You could put it here. And then what we'll do is make another... We're going to go over here and we're going to try to make the uh, lightning rod. Wonderful. And there it is. So we've got a sweet lightning rod. We've got some storages on the side. And now I have a spare. We have repair putty. We have electrician's kit. We've got the flare gun. And we have... Uh, we have this as our flashlight. So I need to take this. But I probably want to make a backup. Oh, it's going to... Definitely bottom out. All right, I'm going to carry this in spare back here. All right. Okay. So I think we're doing really, really nicely at this point. Uh, let me pick this up and move it like this. Good. And then this thing can go down here. And this thing can go over here. I don't really need this big food. Well, Devin, normally I would, but I think I can uh, try to do one more run. See how it goes. All right, so we're going to say, do I need to research anything? Can I research anything? Hmm. Probably not, but let's look at the route.
So we could try to go all the way up here. But this is far away. I feel like I need to get into the mid zone simply because um, I think I'm like I've got a lot of the tech that I can get without the stability so I think we need it. Okay, so I'm going to move. I want to get here. Seems like the simplest way is through here. This is a nice place. Um, except for the intense radiation. But there's a lot of houses. There's a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to go get this, and you know, there's a few things, and then we're going to hit the exit. This area just started to become unstable. Less than ideal. Wipers on. Lights on. Let's go. Oh boy, tree in the way. See how my headlights are fl toggling a little bit? That's that's a sign of something. Actually, I don't know if the road's going to get me there, is it? No, it will. Seems like a similar quirk indeed, Alex. Well, at least we know how to attempt to treat that one. I hit the stop sign. I did that. Uh-oh. Abductor. Oh no. Anomalies everywhere. Another abductor. It's getting dangerous. Turning off the lights. Alright. Getting greedy. Going for it. I tell you what, Devin, I hope not. I'm not ready for a big monster. I know this game reasonably well after playing Devin, but I'll tell you what, it wouldn't surprise me if that happened. You know what I mean? Like, I could totally see that, and I'd be like, yep, that's what I'd get. A visit from the big monster. Big Monster Incorporated. No, I don't want that. Okay.
Well, that thermo sap went way up in the air. But we need it. That's just plastic. That's not gonna do. Alright. I'll take it. What you got? A crate. Well. It's not bad. Ooh, are these chems? They sure are. You've done it. That's quite a few rubber ducks. Okay, here's the anchor. We're going to get it and go. Chemicals are so critical. Alright, here we go. And I'm going to look at the map. And I'm going to turn that on. We're going to go. That's a great question, Bryson. Um, I don't watch too many people on YouTube because I'm either making videos for YouTube or um, playing games. I, I do, uh, for example, if I'm playing Slay the Spire, or I want to learn about that, um, I watch uh, Jorbs on that if I want to oh boy this is turning me all around I had to risk it I needed to go through I like to watch some youtubers explain how to be like you know understanding how to make videos edit videos use photoshop stuff like that Listen to podcasts. Oh, oh. Okay, here we go. We gotta stop. Okay, pry bar time. I like to mess around, but I'll tell you one um, podcast that I've uh, enjoyed in the past. I haven't listened for a bit, but I used to. Uh, was to all the time. It's called uh, Stuff You Should Know. And, like, these dudes just explain topics, like, by doing research and things to kind of help educate you on just, you know, as it says, stuff you should know. And I find it to be really interesting. I like to do a lot of educational stuff. Uh, I feel like I like to uh, learn things. I like Tim Ferriss, you know, so you can just hear, like, smart people talking about exciting stuff. Um, okay, let's see. I am procrastinator. I am, my friend. Hey, Brian, good evening. At right, the radio, either I turned it on or... The anomaly turned it on. Somebody turned it on. Oh, that is that is sad, Devin, that he retired. Do you just feel like not doing it anymore? Or was he old? He might have been so successful that he could just kick his feet up and not have to do it. It's a lot of work. It's one of those things where um, you could totally see how people get burned out. Exactly, right? Yeah, weekly releases for 10 years is a lot. Okay. 
Now, where am I on the map? I should take the road. This is ridiculous. But why take the road when you can be ridiculous? Uh, this might be too much of an, a climb. Oh man, yeah. Two plane trips a week is two more than I want to take. I personally like going to new places, but I don't like the going to airports and, you know, being on airplanes. Flying in the plane isn't bad. I just, you have to sit around and just do nothing for so long. All right, we're going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is risky. Oh, yeah. All right, now, map, where am I? Oh, I made it back to the road I was looking for. Well, we can actually probably just stick on this. There's a little bit of a falling rock situation on this row. Oh my God, road. Ooh, there's a house. Okay, well, I'll take it. Oh, it's a, you know, Pac-Man arcade machine. That's great. And a basketball that you can pick up and, you know, throw for athletics. And a hatchet that's just scary. Oh, Brian, I'm sorry. I just saw your comment. I'm really enjoying it, Brian. Um, the more I play this game, the more I like it. I had some uh, frustrations with it. But, oh, there's a storm here. Okay, we gotta go. It was mostly due to just not understanding some of the details in the game. Some of it was my own fault for not paying attention. And some of it was just the game didn't fully explain everything. But once you get it, the game is really fun. Boy, this zone is wonky. I'm going to try to get out of this zone. Yeah, Brian. I mean, so far, it's one of my... I put it in my top five games of 2024 so far. I put it number three... Uh, and it's really good. It's amazing that it's only like, I think it's 30 or $35. It's not very expensive. And you get a lot of uh, content. So, and it's really well done. The, it is the most unique game of the year so far. Exactly, Devin. It is the ghost, but it's the Ecto-1 for sure, right? Just drive around in this thing, loot stuff, blow things up, accidentally. Is there anything I don't want in my pack? Now nah, we're good. Let's go. Oh, procrastinator. I'm sorry. No, I just didn't see it. No, it's fine. Um, I teach English, my friend. I teach college English. Okay. Gosh, where are we going? We're making it. We're going to make it. Okay. 
So I could go this way, but it says high instability. So I'm going to try to go here, or maybe it's... Oh, no, wait. I shouldn't have clicked on that. It doesn't go where I want it to go. I thought it did because it was in the right direction, but it doesn't... The dotted lines don't work. Oh, what have I done? All right. All right, well, there's a nice large anchor right there, so let's go for it. Turn this off. Let's go. My car is driving... Oh, I have a bad tire. Okay. Yeah, the scenic route. Yeah, that's it. I was like, man, my car is really pulling to the left. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Procrastinator. Oh, boy. There we go. All right, now, hopefully, we're back on track. All right. Okay. No, we don't need that one. Let's go. All right. Uh, yep. Oh, man, I know what you mean. I took Espanol when I was in high school and in college. I got by at the time, but I got to tell you what because I haven't practiced it. Most of that's uh, gone. That's a great question, Robert. This game is like a... It's an extraction game. An extraction roguelike where you drive a car. So it's like a survival driving extraction supernatural roguelike it's interesting because it's such a unique title. It doesn't have too many bases of comparison. And yet, when you're playing it, it feels pretty intuitive. That's a great question. Yeah, I liked it, Procrastinator. I just didn't excel at it. So... The cool thing, Robert, is your car is actually your base. So you're building up this station wagon, and it's your mobile base. But you do have a garage that you go back to that you can also upgrade. And you upgrade yourself with better equipment. So you've got, like, several different systems that you're working to upgrade in the game, which is really cool. But it's the car, mostly. I've decorated my car, as you can see, but... You upgrade the tires, the armor, the engine, the special features, the storage, on and on and on. It's It's got a really, really deep customization system. If you're a gearhead, you would really like it because, you know, you do some pretty serious uh, repair of the car. I'm going to eat the whole MRE, just why not? Ooh, that was a really packed dresser. Procrastinator, it really is an interesting game. It's one of the best things about it is that it has so much style. It really, it looks really cool. The car looks awesome. It's got a great vibe. Thankfully, you can customize it a lot in terms of the quality of life stuff. I wish their game had a little bit more explanation of some things for you. But overall, it's just really impressed me as a title. I wasn't sure what to make of it at first. But the more I play it, the more I enjoy it.
Whoa. Okay. That's a great question. Robert, definitely I will. Hey. Where'd that come from? Did that guy steal that from me? I'm getting electrocuted. That's less than ideal. Wow, Devin. So my lightning rod is taking some of the lightning. Car should be fully charged at this point. I always did too. I like I like ASL a lot. It would be super useful. You know, I had a um, a deaf student one time in my in one of my classes uh, at the college, and the way that they did it was that they sent. Oh boy. Two, um, oh my god, the whole car is electrified. That's not good. Interpreters to the class. So, like, while I was teaching, there were these two women there that were just, um, like, they would take turns interpreting everything I said and signing it to the student. And I always felt like, man, I really should be careful what I say and not waste these people's time. Like, I should do a good job because I'm making them do all this signing, so no extra words. Alright. Um, now we just follow the road and go straight down. Yeah, I've always wanted to learn more of it. I have my car running. I'm just going to get this treasure box and go. Here we go. Packing it up. All right, here we go. Oh, I, that's right. It was on. All right, let's go this way. Try to hit back on the road, maybe. Sure. All right, so here's another anchor. I wasn't actually planning on getting this. I was... Let me look at this. If I go through this on the map there's a storm coming but I could also just pick the stuff up and go That's awesome, Procrastinator. Um, I'm going to go this way and pick it up. And I know I saw... Yeah. Oh, this... I got to go in here. Pry bar. 
Oh yeah, here we go, people. So this place is not the safest that I'm in right now, but I do have my really fancy lead apron. Hey. All of gaming. What's up, my friend? Good evening. You know what? Too much carbs. You're right. I haven't. The pneumatic tube? Thank you. I need to do a better job at scanning that. I actually need to do a better job scanning most stuff in general. So, do I want to, you know what, I was going to like, it says bad gateway area, like I don't even see a gate, so maybe you can't open a gate on this area, I haven't encountered something like that before, I should have factored that in, but it's okay, um, I guess I'll just grab this next anchor and then head out the exit. Oh, awesome, gaming. No, I definitely like to do so. Oh my goodness. That's that's not pleasant. Okay, let's go this way. Well, the anchor's over here anyway. You know, if I put some panels on, I might want to get the the panels that Um, protect you from electricity and prevent charge. Seems like I get affected with that more than anything else. Alright, here we go. Yeah, just a slight detour. Oh, well, we were talking about it. Um, oh no, this isn't a treasure box. That's something else. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was dumb. I drove right onto that guy. I thought it was... I mistook it for something else, and... There I am. Okay. I gotta go fix my car now. That did a lot of damage. Oh, what have I done? Why would I do that? Alright, there's an abductor. Turn off the lights. Alright. Turn on the lights. Let's see. Here we go. Whoa. Alright. Whoa. Uh -oh. Turn out the lights. Abductor. Go. I have a bad tire. Shocking indeed. All right. We made it. Yeah, see, from where I'm at, I can't actually go here. It's so brutal. Oh, I could go here and then go there. Okay, that's that's somewhat better. A Jeep might help. All right, so. Bad 
gateway area. Huh. Uh, I guess I'll just get this and then go through. It's interesting because I kind of want to like... Um... I need a mechanics kit. I kind of want to go back, but I can't open the gate. Can I make a mechanics kit? I can. That's better. That's awesome for crafting there. That's a, I mean, just shows you how important it is to have community and everybody helping out. Oh, they really can. It just takes, you know, good teachers, but also just good people, you know, trying to help each other. All right. That's as fixed up as I'm going to do for now. And I'm going to just point this. Wipers on. Here we go. All right. Okay, so over to the left is the anchor. I'm going to get out and get it. I think it's... Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the car. This is a large anchor. Nope. My car uh, got a little treat there. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to go this way. right through. Now there's a lot of houses, there's a lot of good stuff here, but I'm actually concentrating on trying to get back. I've got a bunch of stability. Um, my gas is actually low, so this is nice. It really is so nice, Devin. I agree. That's awesome, Procrastinator. Um, give me this. Oh, you're right. Too much carbs. Thank you, my friend. No, I, I don't mind at all. I appreciate all the help I can get all the time in games. Let me do a good job.
All right. Now that's cruel. You can't stop me. I mean, you can very easily, but... All right. Oh my god, that's a boulder. Okay, now that... 100% will stop me. All right, let's get back on the road. It's like a weather balloon, by golly. All right, so we'll go here just to scan for new routes. And as soon as I get here, I'm gonna try to open a gate so that I can escape with my dignity intact. All right, let me go looking. And where am I? I'm here, right here. That's it. Let's go. Wow. This is a giant wall here. I should be able to see the bright tower of light over to the right. There it is. Going for it. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Let's go. Thank goodness. It would take a miracle is the achievement I just got of completing a run with four junctions. We got 6.3 stable right there, which is so good. What did you find? Oh, we found, I don't know what we found, but we did something. Sweet. Back. And not dead. Holy cannoli. Let me look at this really fast. So we found another junction, which is maybe up here, which could take us through the wall. Either this one or this one. So we could keep exploring. And here's the wall to the mid zone. So we're just going to kind of keep poking around, see if it's this one or this one, to try to get through. Off roading indeed. Well, everyone. Oh my goodness, we are doing well. We got a lightning rod. We have a car that's fully intact. We're getting a lot better at doing runs and not dying. Lots of research happening. And I keep learning. Every time I play, I keep learning from you guys some little tidbits and, and items in the game that just um, not only make it easier, but uh, make the game just more fun when you have more knowledge. It is indeed my bedtime. I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for coming out to the stream tonight, playing some Pacific Drive, helping me learn it and enjoy it. I hope you all have a fantastic evening or day. We're going to be fighting the zombies tomorrow in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead if you are interested in stopping by. Alex, Devin, Procrastinator... Fading, Too Much Carbs, Crispy Bacon, Taryn, Robert, 
T. Mr. Sheeple, Brian, Bryson, Guy Fizz, everybody out there, take care, have a great one. If I don't see you before then, Fading, have a great trip. It is indeed. <laughs>